Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating how we can derive different weak numbers in a quartile. So I'm going to show us how we can get our weak, different weak numbers. Possibly we have from week 1 to 13 or maybe week 1 to 14 in each different quarters in a particular year. So we're going to be making use of the superstore data to demonstrate this. So what we do is we take our field, that is our date field. So we first take this, which is the year. This is in order of year. So we take the other date once again. So we can pick our quarter. So this is in quarter already. So yes, so we already picked the quarter. So next thing we need to do is we mention we want to calculate each of the weeks in a quarter. So we are going to calculate our week number. So what we need to do is let's take the other date first. And let's change this to week number. So, but we can still um, get the calculation. So, we're going to create a calculated field for this rather than using the manual volume. So, let's say, okay, week number. Let's name it week number. So, we they use the date path function to do this. So, we use the date path function. So, just go down. Click on the date path function, then we'll pick the weeks. We'll pick the weeks, then we use the our uh, order date value. So that's everything. So just click on apply and OK. So if we drag this into the field, so, okay, this is giving us a sum, so we can change this to the minimum. So let's pick it once again. So we can change this to the minimum and convert it to discrete. So you see we have week number just exactly like what we have here. So what we are going to do now is what we have here is not exactly what we want to do. We want to get each of the weeks for each of these quarters, whereby we don't have 1 to 14 and then 14 to whatsoever repeating itself. So now we are going to create that week for the quarters now. So let's create another calculated field. So we're going to call this week or quarters. So we are going to make use of the date path function. In the date path function, you can derive the year, you can derive the weeks, and you can as well use the quarter. So um, you only use quarter under date wrong. If you're using the date path function, you can only use the week, month, and year, not the quarter. So you can only use the dot, uh, the quarter under the date trunk. So we're going to first get a quarter under the date trunk. They will now pass it through the date path. So we're going to demonstrate this so we can understand what I'm trying to do. So we pick the date path first. Then we take the week. And the other date. So it's just like what we were trying to do earlier by calculating the week number. So we pick the other dates. So now we are now going to find the difference between the date parts. Let's take it again. Let's take the date parts once again. So and then we are going to pick the week again. So the week. So what we are going to pass here now is we are going to make use of the date trunk. The date trunk is going to be like in the exact date format. So let's pick the date trunk. Yes, so let's pick the date trunk. So we're going to make use of the quarter here. That is, we are trying to use the quarter for this date trunk. So we're going to pass in a order date now. Yes, so we're going to pass in a order date. Okay, that spelling of quarter is incorrect. So we're going to pass in an order date. So we minus, we define the difference between the uh, normal week date, which is date part. So we pass in the date trunk here. So this date trunk is also in actual date format. So it's just like this is in quarter now. 
that is this particular date wrong it's finding the quarter and then realizing it with the date part so what else we need to do now is we're going to find we are going to add one to hit to this difference that we have here so let's do it like this so let's put it in a bracket let's put everything in a bracket yes let's put everything in a bracket so we had one to what we just did now so let's do apply and okay so we have our weeks of the quarter so i can remove this week number from here so we're going to drag this inside a pin so okay i think what we can do to remove this aggregate of some press edit and add minimum to it Bracket at the other end. So let's take this out and drag it again. Week of quarters. So let's change this to discrete. So we have week of quarters. So I'll take out the week number that I just put in now. So you can see what we have here. We have the 1 to 14. So under the quarter 2 is counting the actual number of weeks for this particular quarters too. And as well for the other quarters. So from what we have under our week number, we have 52, uh, I think it's 53 weeks. So that's what we have. So these are the number of weeks per each quarter. So I hope you understand um, how we can calculate each of the different weeks that we have per quarters. So this is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for listening.